Hi, science team. This is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I want to take a moment. I want to talk directly, directly to teachers that are taking the 64 test, which would be you. You're getting this message. And this is for those teachers that are taking the new general science test. I want to talk about how you can use this class and use the study material on the pre-workshop homework to help you. Because the class that you're taking right now, it's only a mini, mini version of, uh, uh, it's a mini version of the science, okay? And we're filming new sections right now for the science, but right now you're taking this mini version. You gotta, you gotta look to see how you can approach the stuff here and, and use it to help you. So let me give you some direct guidance on this, okay? So number one, everyone in this class should be very confident in getting to this page here. You should go and watch those six hours of content involving science. That content is very self-contained, meaning uh, you have a packet, there's a video. Uh, what's on the video should correspond with your packet. You only have to wa watch one video for every section. It's very self-contained, yes? And it should help you go through a lot of general knowledge. So just by doing the six hours, you should be able to go and you should be able to uh, at least have had a review of some of these ideas. Now, these are the, this is the vocabulary that's on the STEM pre-workshop homework page. I'm going to go through it and show you where to find it on the website. But I'm just trying to say that the class itself, okay, and the questions that are in the six hours, all right, in terms of what's on this sheet here, yeah, it's going to cover the basics. So when I say basics, I'm referring to like scientific method, hypothesis, you know, um, uh, Copernicus, Bacon, Newton, Linnaeus, Lyle, it will do a good job of covering, reviewing some of the basics, yes? But you need to be able to go back and you need to be able to go to this sheet on the STEM pre-workshop homework page and you need to be able to take a second look at those terms that are on the pre-workshop homework page. And I would say um, you, need to, you need to take a real close second look. Now, I made a second list um, we actually made this list um, three years ago before the pandemic. This is when they first released the 64 and they were and they released the objectives. The 64 was supposed to come out in 2020. Then there was the pandemic, everything was delayed, right? And there was a huge delay. They waited two years to release these exams. And this exam was just released in 2022, two years later. So the term list that you see in your packet, this one right here, this is for the 64. This was made for you. Do you understand? Now, this list is a little bit longer than the stuff that's on the pre-workshop homework. So this is the list that I want you to study. Now, I got one, two, three, hold on, four, five, Six, seven, eight, not nine, nine pages, nine, about nine pages. Okay. This is your list. This was made for you. Well, at least actually, actually it wasn't made just for you. Um, that's not true. This list was made for teachers that are taking the 64 and the high school chemistry, physics, biology, and technology exams. So at that time, before the pandemic, we went through those exams and we picked out the terms that we thought were most important. And we made this long list of terms, okay? You need to approach this list and you must know these terms in blue. You must know the terms in blue if you're doing the 64. You do not need to worry about these terms in green, okay? Don't even worry about them. But you need to look at this list here. Um, and you need to go and you need, there a lot of these terms overlap. But you can see there's a lot more terms here. The terms that overlap, you know, Copernicus, Bacon, Newton, Linnaeus, Lyle, Darwin, Cannon. You know, these are going to be similar ideas that are that you might see in the class. Copernicus, Bacon, Newton, Lyle, you know, Darwin, Linnaeus, right? So you'll get that general review. But this should take you to the next level, okay? So I need you to make sure one thing you do beyond the six hours. Don't be like, I did the six hours. I watch the videos, I'm ready to go. No, 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 you need to you need to watch the six hours. You need to look at these terms and look at this list that's in your packet. This is for you. 
and make sure, make sure that you study the blue terms on this list. All right. Okay. Now let's go and let's go to the pre-workshop homework page. Now there is a video there. The video is for multi-subject, but it's the, the, the gist is that you take these terms and you review the stuff bold and black first, and then you add on. I, there's this list here, and then there's the list that I gave you. Use the list that I gave you in the packets to start, okay? Use that list to go through these ideas. There's a, There are formulas here. Now, this is intended for chemistry teachers, but there's a couple of these that are really important. Uh, like, you should be familiar with Boyle's Law. I mean, there's no reason. Why, why, why wouldn't you know that, Okay. You should, be, you should be familiar with, you know, uh, um, you should be familiar with moles. You should be familiar with that. Look at the ones that are the most basic. How about this one right here? Physics formulas. You should be familiar with this basic formula of density. But look, you should be familiar with these basic formulas. Density, acceleration, velocity. Feel like that is something that everyone, uh, force is equal to mass times acceleration. Focus on the basic formulas. So we have basic formulas for physics, some basic formulas here for chemistry. Uh, I'm sure there's another one here. I think there's basic formulas for engineering. Here's what I would say. What makes it basic? How do you know? General knowledge for the 64 test, general knowledge means that you've had it before. It's something that you would have seen before in a basic, like a seventh grade science class, okay? It is, it me, if you've done any science in your background, you would have seen the formula for density, right? So when you look at those formulas and you should be like, oh yeah, I've heard of density before. I got to review it, okay? If you look at a formula and you're like, oh no, I've never seen it before, then don't worry about it. It's probably not for you, okay? So just take a look at those formulas. Now, this is what I want to get to on this page. Scroll down a little bit. I'm going to get to the practice exams. Let me see if I can enlarge my screen a little bit more. Does that make it bigger on your end? Yes, it does. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. You're taking the 64. Which exams do you do? I'm going to give you a piece of advice. 64 teachers. I've worked with a lot of teachers. Uh, teachers taking the, the, this exam and the, that exam doesn't matter. Let's say high school math. And this is what I say to them. I say, go to the most basic exam in your subject area and master. So what would that mean for you? If you're taking the 64, it means you start with the O2 test and you do the science exam questions, the easy ones. And then you go to the, uh, you go to the, uh, maybe the, uh, um, the 78 tests and you do those science exam questions, the easy ones, right? And then maybe you go and you do uh, some of these uh, 73 or 77 science questions. Just the, these aren't as hard, maybe a little bit harder and you get these ones under your belt, okay? And then maybe you build up and then maybe you add on some science questions on the 51, a little harder. And then the 13, a little bit harder. And, the, and then you do some of the science questions that are on the, the 794 and you build up the skill. So I'm asking you to look at these science practice exams or these science and multi-subject exams and just focus on the science questions and build up to the 64 exam. Do you understand? Because what you will find is there are ideas and concepts and themes that appear on the O2, that appear on the 78, that that may appear on the 73 and the 77 these other pearson science and math exams and these exams these same concepts and scenarios might eventually appear on your exam so start with the easy stuff work your way down try and get through as many of these as you can okay all right science team everyone have i hope you have a wonderful day uh let me know if this helps team and, and everyone now uh, break a leg on your exams this fall all right take care team bye-bye